Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. So in light of the fact that year 11 mocks are literally in like two weeks or something, um, I thought I would film a few more revision videos for you guys and today's video is a revision technique that I kind of discovered sort of recently, not really like that recently, but definitely within sick form. And I think it's like transformed the way that I revise science. I obviously do um, biology and chemistry. I'm certain you can use it for other things as well. But for me, for biology and chemistry, this has been like a massive thing. And yeah, I kind of call it like the blurt method um, or like memory mind map or like whatever you want to call it. Uh, in essence, you're kind of just blurting out all the information you know about a chapter or a topic from memory onto paper, like under timed conditions or something and testing your knowledge that way. So if you watched one of my like recent revision videos, um, I said that there's kind of a three step process to revision, which is like understanding, learning and applying information. I would say this is one of like key techniques for learning the information and like making sure that you just you just know the content and that you can apply it in questions. So yeah, I hope you find this helpful and let's give you an example. <laughs> Bam. So before I'd go ahead and make the memory mind map, I'd first make sure I go over my flashcards and kind of get to grips with the information a little bit. Like you can't go ahead and make this memory mind map without having kind of learned the information first. So yeah, I would just go through my flashcards, read through them, do the questions, that sort of thing. And then using those flashcards and using the information, whether it's from your notes in a textbook or your notes from your lesson, any sort of summarized notes, I would create a few headings and these headings are what I like to call prompts. So I actually have a prompt sheet for most of the chapters in chemistry and I need to do all the ones for biology, but yeah, uh, these prompts are gonna help you for future, especially if you keep them for revision for tests later on in the year and that kind of thing. So yeah, just highlight any big areas of that chapter. So the other day I had a big inorganic chemistry mock, which was quite stressful and had a lot of content, seeing as it was the inorganic stuff from last year and the inorganic stuff from this year. So yeah, I produced this prompt sheet um, for each of the chapters. I'll show you it here. It's really nothing fancy. It really is just a sheet of A4 paper with each of the chapters and some prompts. So for example, for chapter nine, some of the prompts that I came up with were solubility of hydroxides, and then like as a little bracket prompt equation for like the uses of magnesium, calcium, and barium, and then solubility of sulfates, and then another prompt within that test for the sulfate ion. So yeah, you get the gist. Just make this kind of prompt sheet where you're not just blindly grasping at any kind of information. Like you've got some prompts. Then find yourself a plain bit of paper or to be honest, it doesn't even need to be plain. I was using scrap paper and rubbishy pieces of paper during my revision, just literally anything that you can write on where there's some space. And basically set yourself a timer, depending on how many things that you need to get through in that chapter. Like if it's a massive chapter, maybe give yourself a few more minutes. If it's quite a small chapter, try and work under like pressured time. So give yourself like three minutes. You can literally do this a few times a week, three minutes, um, use those prompts and go. Literally just write down everything you can think of within those prompts in a mind map form, or not even a mind map, just blurt down everything you can. And especially if you repeat this process, it really just identifies gaps in your knowledge. It proves whether you know the content enough to be able to just write loads of stuff about it. I mean, eventually you might not even have to use the prompts and you can just say like, oh, chapter nine, and then blurt out everything you know about chapter nine. When the time limit is done, just get your notes or your flashcards or whatever you have been learning the information from and fill in the gaps and check stuff that you missed or check things that you got wrong or you didn't put in. So for example, I know that some of the equations I am not very certain on for inorganic chemistry. Um, so I'd be definitely checking those over, checking like colors of compounds if I got those right. And um, do your corrections in a different color so that you can like clearly identify what you don't know. And I think the key with this method is to repeat it quite a few times and I promise you, it's not a particularly fun method because it requires a lot of brain power and thought, 
but it is a very quick way of doing really effective revision because you're proving to yourself whether you know the things or not. So yeah, I highly recommend that you give this a go for science or something, especially if you've got like mocks coming up or an exam coming up. It is a quick way to go through all the chapters instead of just like copying out notes or like reading your notes. Like this is like, you actually have to think and you get used to like the pressured time constraint of like knowledge. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. Quite a short video, but yeah. I feel like this is one of the revision techniques where like you just can't really be bothered to do it. Like you know think you know it would be like a good thing to do. But I don't know, with me sometimes I think to myself, oh yeah Jade, like perfect revision method. Let's go like just read off flashcards, just read them through without actually like testing whether I've absorb the knowledge or not. So yeah, this is a good way of testing that you've learned it. Let me know if you do use it and let me know if you have any like similar revision techniques. But um, yeah, I will do more revision -y videos coming up this week. I'm also taking requests for which subjects you'd like me to do like how to revise on. And I'll probably get through about three subjects maybe this week. Comment down below what you would like. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely and productive rest of the half term. Bye.